Hey guys, it's Fox here, and today we're taking a Claudine Wolf doll and turning her into a cyborg. Now, I wanted to give her a robot eye, so I decided to go in with some silver paint and draw past the eye mold. I wanted it to look like she had gotten hurt in battle and it had exposed her robot parts. I also wanted to give her a robot arm, so I went in with that same silver paint and painted her arm just to give it that nice metallic color. Because every good cyborg needs a robot arm, am I right? <laughs> So after I had added her eye and her arm, I went in with my pigments and I decided to contour her face with a gray color this time instead of like brown or black or something like that. I did that on purpose because I wanted it to look like you could almost see the, the metal underneath her skin as if it has this synthetic, not quite real look, if that makes sense. I also went in with a white to highlight her cheeks and her nose and all that good stuff. And in a second, I'll also be going in with a red and I'll be putting that around her eye. So it looks like the skin around the exposed metal is a little irritated. After all the highlight and contour and the blushing around her eye, I went in with my Prismacolor pencils and I started to outline the silver of her eye. Um, I did this for two reasons. First to make it pop out, but also because I wanted to add a little depth to it. I didn't want it to look like it was just stuck on her face, you know? I also realized that my Mr. Super Clear hadn't uh, set quite right. so. This is seriously just blocking out and getting sort of an idea where I want to put things because nothing's as pigmented as I wanted it to be. After spraying her over with Mr. Super Clear, I went in with my pigments again because I wanted to really highlight the fact that her skin was graying underneath and that the skin around the eye was irritated. I really really wanted this eye to look good. I was so excited about this concept. And also because my Misty Super Clear set right this time, it's summer, what are you gonna do? I was able to finally make things a little more pigmented so I could go in with a little more detail. For her lips, I did something different than I usually do, and I made the bottom a natural color and then the top a darker red color. I did this because I wanted to give her a more natural look. She's supposed to be like a military style cyborg, so I didn't want to give her like a purely beauty look. I wanted to give her something that said she was natural and uh, ready to fight. I'm also going to outline her eye again and I'm going to be really accentuating on the fact that there's little like tears on the sides. I don't want it to look like a clean cut exposure. I want it to look like she has gotten hurt somehow and like it's I just wanted it to look gnarly honestly like I didn't know how else to explain it. <laughs> Off camera, I had added a little red dot into her eye just to highlight on the fact that she's a robot. And then I went in with a black and started to add little wires in her eye. Thank you. 
After I sprayed her down with Mr. Super Clear again, I go in with my Prismacolors and I add more detail and just darken everything up. I'll also be adding some more detail on the eye just to make it look a little more uh, 3D, I guess. Not really 3D, but have a little more depth to it, I guess, you know? Now, before anybody says anything, yes, I am adding purple onto the silver bit of the eye. I am doing this because I want it to look like a shadow. I want it to have a little more depth and look like it's under the skin and not just sitting on top of her face like a bad prosthetic, you know? So I hope that came across correctly, that it is just a shadow on the metal. If not, then whoops it's okay it wasn't super dark anyways and i'm going along the outline of it with a red too just to give it a little more of a uh, angry this is kind of more of a, a recent exposure cut effect i don't know how else to explain this <laughs> Next we gotta bust out our whites and start highlighting the eyebrow, the brow bone. I highlighted her scar on her eyebrow and her cupid's bow. And I'm also going to be using the white to go along certain parts of the scar just to make it a little more 3D and look a little more raised in the skin area. After all of that I hit her with another spray of Mr. Super Clear. And I go back in and I start darkening everything up one more time just to make sure everything is as pigmented as I can get it and all the details are there. So here's a cool little detail that I added that probably didn't affect it in any way. But I went over her real looking eye with a red color pencil and I wanted it to look as if the red from the robot eye is also underneath the, the regular eye as if it's a light shining through. Anyways, I don't know if that actually comes across that way or if it even really shows up, but I thought it'd be a cool little detail to add in there.
finally we're back to our robot arm and I'm going to go and put in some details to make it look more robotic. Unfortunately my camera died while I was doing this so I wasn't able to record the whole process but you'll see it in the reveal. I think it looks super cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So guys, here she is, my cool little military cyborg lady. I decided to name her Major, just because it's a cool snappy little name. I also wanted to point out that after I made her arm, I decided to put in a little area that looked like exposed wires. I hope it comes across that way. It was really messy, so it probably doesn't look super great. But I really, really hope that you guys like her. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!